please uh, introduce yourselves for the record so that uh, we can get started okay. uh, good morning sir my name is vish govind sami uh, part of the governing board ravi ratnayaka uh, appointed member of governing board uh, nihal fonseca appointed member governing board good morning chair and members anushka vijay singh appointed member of the governing board Manil uh, Jayasinghe, appointed member, the governing board. Rajiv Amrasuri, appointed member, governing board. Thank you. Before we start, I must make some announcements. First of all, let us uh, warmly congratulate and welcome uh, Mr. Manil Fernando, M Manil Jayasinghe, and uh, Mr. Rajiv Amrasuri uh, to this committee because it's the first time that you all are coming here as members of the board and also Mr. Govindasamy who was uh, overseas when we met with your colleagues uh, last time. Uh, another matter is we have opened this session for any member who is interested uh, to participate in this discussion and uh, if there are any members uh, they will join us at whatever time convenient to them. And uh, we want to maintain the decorum of this meeting as, uh, uh, you know, due respect given both ways because this is a sensitive topic. So I've asked our members to please um, direct the questions through the chair. So having sort of, you know, made those opening remarks, I will ask Mr. Fonseca uh, to please uh, go ahead and uh, make your presentation and we will uh, let the governor in whenever he is done because otherwise we will be wasting everybody's time because we are busy, we have other business to attend to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Honourable Chairman, members of the committee, uh, there is a formal presentation which was uh, expected to be presented to this uh, committee today which I think is uh, the governor is now presenting, I believe, to the other meeting. So my comments would have been better if that had been presented before, but since you have... Uh, uh, that presentation is here. Is it? Yeah, it's here. It's, it's loaded on the... You cannot see it on the screen? Yeah. yeah. Let him... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But before, uh, before we start the presentation, let me make some opening remarks, Honorable Chairman and members. Yeah. The, the, the first thing that uh, I'd like to point out is that uh, the, the decision relating to remuneration in the central bank has been decided internally without any reference to anybody else for the last at least more than 20, 25 years. It is not something that happened after the new law came into being. It was happening even under the old Montreal Law Act. The second point that I would like to put into context is that the central bank salaries and remunerations are based on collective bargaining or collective agreements and not, that means by agreement with the unions of the central bank and, and the management and the board of the central bank. That has also been going on for, I think, more than 20 years from what I understand. So, the, so that is just to give you context. Now, on this particular occasion as well, the unions and the management and also the board under the guidance of the board engaged in this discussion for several months. Obviously, even while the old collective agreement was in place, there were pressures to actually amend it after what happened in 2022, but uh, the central bank uh, did not wish to abrogate the existing agreement. So the, existing, the previous agreement finished in December 2023. And so there was a new 
three year agreement that became necessary from 24 25 26 so there was discussions took place from from uh, so in that context if you can just uh, so that is what i basically just said so that so maybe you can go to the next one let me also just for clarity say that the the law requires the remuneration of the governor and members of the monetary board to be fixed by the parliament or the president so this these revisions have nothing whatsoever to do with the uh, governor's remuneration or the members uh, uh, remuneration for attending meetings that is just to give you a, so to that extent it doesn't affect us one way or another uh, now now let me ask this question now the governor is part of the 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 governing board no and he is also the executive uh, head of the so the central bank in the in context of the staff is a member of the staff as well no governor or is he not uh, no, i don't think he is considered a member of the staff for most most purposes he is not a employee of the central bank in in, in that context because uh, he is a uh, so uh, so his uh, so his remuneration is decided elsewhere so will this question i have is now <clears throat> when the parliament determines the uh, the remuneration of the governing board that will have some relationship to the salaries of the deputy governors and others also no 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 not not no but the governing board only gets what you call a sitting allowance. We don't get remunerated. But governor, I mean. Governor, his remuneration is uh, uh, decided by parliament and, and the minister, uh, minister approves. So it is not uh, decided through this, this mechanism. And uh, so the governor is not... So the, de the deputy governors are part of... Deputy the governors are employees of the bank. So they are part of the collective agreement. They, they, are, they are also arising from the... Yeah, agreement. so the only employee, because the, the, he gets remunerated by the, the, the central bank, no? more than what the members of the uh, governing board are remunerated, the governor, whoever the governor is, has a different way in which remuneration is... Salaries are formulated Correct. Yes. Right. But what you are saying is, he is the only employee of the central bank who is outside of the collective agreement. Well, first of all, I think... I don't think he is an employee in that sense of the word yes. of the central bank. Mm -hmm. He is the chief executive under the appointed provisions the of the act, appointed by the executive. executive. So he 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 his his entire remuneration He's is decided by the executive. elsewhere. The governing board, no anybody in the central bank has any involvement in that. So that is in relation to the governor. Yeah. Mr. Fonseca, just just yeah. to uh, through the chair. Um, just because you are making some um, background remarks for clarification here, uh, how many are employed at the central bank at this time? At the moment, about 1,100. It's all there in our presentation. Which Honorable members, I've yeah. shared the presentation. We've it's shared the presentation yeah. with you. Okay. Because I want to find out if it is only the governor is ununionized and all others are unionized. Is that the situation? I am. The, uh, it is not a question of whether they are members of the union, but if somebody is not a member of the union, the what has been agreed for that level with the union will apply to him as well. That okay. is the usual manage, uh, arrangement for collective agreements. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, I can't say whether everybody is in a union or not. I okay. don't know. But then, but all salaries will be paid in accordance with yeah. what has been now, now agreed. Because we were told that the 25 different unions asked to meet us from central bank alone. So there are 25 unions within the body. I, I don't know. know. No, I mean, I, I'm <laughs> not sure. I think I thought it's a six or seven as far as I Okay, right. Let's go. Let's yeah. go and so see this data. Tell um, me, yes, if you can. Uh, members, uh, would you please, uh, Mr. Fonseca, give me a minute. Uh, members, have some representation being made by the AG's department, Department of Management Services, Department of Public Enterprises, Office of the Public Service Commission, and the Ministry of Public Administration, Home Affairs, and Local Government. These officials are outside. So I want to know whether we should invite those officials also uh, uh, into this meeting 
uh, I want to along with this along with along with the, uh, What's the, the connection the, no they are because they are the government salary they are the people who are responsible for remuneration formulating the salaries formulating the salaries of everybody else okay so, so they are wait they are outside and i again, want to know again. whether to bring them in or not and again, we, we will we will have a better different angle to this no Please go ahead. Now here again, uh, Honorable Chairman and members, I said in my background that this development in relation to the recent adjustment of salaries, there was no additional empowerment that the governing board got. <coughs> it's the same, uh, the powers and duties that the monetary board performed under the previous, previous act that was used in this occasion as well. There is no new provision. That the two provisions of the uh, act, we can, we can, uh, the 1950 act also had similar provisions for the remuneration to be fixed off for employees. So these are the two provisions of the two acts, which are broadly similar. And so section 23.1 of this one and section 10 of the previous act gave the monetary board the power to uh, power to uh, fix the remuneration of employees and uh, uh, just to put again into context the central bank has some significant statutory responsibilities which are just summarized here Achievement of maintained domestic price stability being one, which is basically the control of inflation. And the other one is to secure the financial system stability. Then there are, apart from that, there are other agency functions which currently the central, central bank performs. Some of those functions, uh, there is a move to take them out of the central bank, but at the moment the central bank is still performing those functions. And those cover public debt management, EPF management, administration of the Foreign Exchange Act, and the Financial Intelligence Unit, uh, uh, all, all at the moment done by the Central Bank. Mr. Fonseca, let me once again uh, seek your indulgence to pause you for a second. Um, here, let me see if these are the other people who are joining us. Uh, Viveka Sirivadana, President's Council from the Department of or rather the Attorney General's Department. General 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 President. Hiransa Kalutantri, Director General, and Iresha B. Gamake, Director of the Department of Management Services. Uh, uh, P.A.S. Atula Kumar, Director General of Department of Public Enterprise. Can you acknowledge to the record because your hands can be not recorded? Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, yes. So far, everyone, yes. Uh, Mr. S.J. Edirivira, Chairman of the Public Service Commission. Present. Mrs. TMLC Senaratna, Chairperson, uh, Office of Public Service Commission? Yes. Right. Mr. ML Gamampila, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Public Administration. Yes, sir. And Mr. H.A. Chandana Kumar Singh, Director General of Establishments of the same ministry. Yes, sir. Are there anyone else here whose names I haven't read and who's not already introduced themselves to, for, for the record? Okay, please go ahead, Mr. Fonsi. Well, to maintain the primary and uh, uh, the secondary objectives, the central bank needs to maintain a well-qualified and more than qualified, well-trained group of people for because the 
because they are not people that you, you can immediately recruit from the marketplace because after they join, they undergo specialized training over time. Uh, they, they, they do postgraduate degrees, other programs, because the functions of the central bank are unique in this environment. So, so that is the context in which the central bank operates. So this is the slide on staff strength, how it has moved from, uh, it's too small for me to see, but the, 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 the. Why don't you give him a printout? Mr. Fox, I would appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I give didn't. him a printout so he can see. Can somebody give him a printout? Mr. Fonseca. Make a printout, Mr. Fonseca. Make a make it Mr. Fonseca. My eyesight is not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> 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 no, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can see it perfectly now. <laughs> the, the, right. So there are, as you can see, in Central Bank grew up to two, in, two, in 2013 with the recruitment of various uh, staff along the way to 1,548. And then from then on to now, it has come to 1,183, the number of total number of employees. So just to give you the context, the, uh, uh, the, the work load is the same or even more in the sense in the last two years, as you, uh, Honorable Chairman and Honorable Members will appreciate, there has been a significant uh, amount of work that the Central Bank has had to do in, 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 uh, in relation to but it has been done with a lower number of people. The point I am making, there has been a significant productivity increase which has happened in the central bank on the, based on the number of people that we have recruited. Mr. Fonseca, now you have categorized them as staff class, management assistant class, and office yes. assistant class. Yeah. I mean, I see from here some significant increases to the total in three different occasions you have highlighted. Yes. Why yes. have you done that? No, no, that, that, uh, that, that is to, uh, uh, that is, that, that is to show the office assistant class from a, from a 96 people and the, the increase happened in three different years. There were bulk recruitments into, mm -hmm. into, into those, into those categories. And then, uh, uh, since uh, uh, the office assistant thing, since 2013, there have been no, no new recruitment. So we are we are left with that legacy crowd, and they are as they re, as they retire, that that number is coming coming down. May I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, is it true that uh, un during Mr. Asia Vadana's time, a decision was made not to hire any more minor staff? I cannot uh, answer that because I was not associated with the central bank, but I, I, I uh, will have to ask maybe the governor when he comes because… Uh, Is there anybody else who can answer that question here? I don't think there is anybody who goes back to that because they are all at the… the it is an important question yes. because if yeah. that was the case and there was a freeze on hiring minor staff, suddenly there was a surge in uh, minor staff. Yeah in a particular year. Chai, if you notice, uh, as it today, there's a 35% increase from the 2006 on the minor staff alone. Because minor staff, as they say, not minor staff, they say office staff, assistant class, minor staff employee class, 96 it was, today is 131. There is a 35% increase, whereas the staff class and management class have been not increased the same way, uh, parallel. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, that's your question, is that? Yeah, because it reached a peak, uh, honorable member, in. 2013, the 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 the, the assistant uh, class, and then it from then on there has been no no recruitments and it has come down. Is so, it correct also, Mr. Uh, member, that there are no currently uh, that you do not uh, employ or do not hire uh, minor staff? No, we, we have not hired, and we are not hiring. You haven't hired since 2013. Yeah, that is yeah, that is the information I have. Yeah.
Go ahead, please. Yeah. Now, under the recent amendments to the Central Bank Act, the responsibilities and scope of functions also increased. Now, with the macroprudential authority responsibilities also being statutorily imposed on the central bank, it was being done in a, up to some extent under the old law. Resolution authority in the event of a in the event of a failure of a financial institution, also being primarily imposed by statute to the uh, on the central bank and also uh, financing uh, uh, inc uh, financial inclusion to get the ability of access to finance and all of that so these are some additional things that are referred to in the new law in, in relation to its duties and responsibilities of the central bank as an institution but mr fonseca in the new law it is also uh, provided for to get rid of some of the functions yes yes so, so those are there but at the moment those are being done so there is a debt, the debt office is expected to be taken out at some point in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the, there is a, uh, uh, some, ideally I think the, even the EPF is expected to be taken out, but uh, time frames for that are still being discussed because uh, it has to be done in an orderly manner. The next slide. Uh, Honourable members and Honourable Chairman, are the, the composition of the educational and professional qualifications of the staff class and the uh, and and the so we have a PhDs now. Let me also here emphasize, it is just not the qualification. While they get these qualifications after getting recruited into the central bank, they also engage in other programs where their skills on central banking aspects get enhanced through various other, through various other programs. Mm -hmm. So it is just not that to say that somebody with a PhD that you can take, recruit from somewhere mm -hmm. else can immediately fit into a role, role in the central bank. Uh, of course, that will be a, that will be useful, but you, do, you also need that other other uh, uh, expertise and experience that you can gather actually only in a central bank because it's a, it's a, it's a unique or, or another central bank overseas. I mean, because there are no other institution here. Now, this is the breakdown of our numbers at various grade, honourable chairman and honourable members. So we have three deputy governors in our card, of which as of uh, the last more than a year, we have been functioning with actually two, because uh, one deputy governor being secretary to the treasury who has been seconded to the treasury. So we, uh, that, that vacancy has not been filled as yet, but our approved card is three. We have 10 uh, assistant governors. Again, we only very recently filled some of those vacancies. I mean, there, there were about four. So this, these are the various grades. Which oh. So you have the largest number in uh, 109, uh, 222. What is this grade staff class one? How, how do you d interpret this, Mr. Fonseca, for our sort of understanding? So I think the staff class one is when you, after coming through your, your, your man, management entry level, management entry level, so that is, I mean, it would be, in, in, to my understanding, would be a level of an assistant director, somebody who, 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 who will get, uh, uh, who, who will get appointed there, there. So in terms of like a director, assistant director, what, what are the grades that you have in the central bank, Mr. Monsek? So now you have, you have, uh, you have directors, assistant Go, going down, deputy governor, assistant governor. Governor, then you have, uh, uh, then you have uh, directors. Directors. Then you have additional directors. Then you have um, uh, ad additional directors can be in the same grade as directors. Then you have, uh, then you have uh, uh, deputy directors, assistant directors. And uh, then, then you have uh, staff grade one, staff grade two, that is before they become into both the assistant directors and that grade. 
then in the management assistant class, the, those are like uh, support staff, is it? Uh, uh, management assistant staff is the people that we, we you, 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 you start recruiting from. Um, uh, the, 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 there are some who, are get, who get promoted from like the theoretical levels, but some will get uh, 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 also what is this 198 number? That's a that's that's sort of you know significantly higher than Chair, all these others. Chair, may, may I suggest kindly, with your permission, that we allow him to present the, because what happens is clarification questions. All of us have clarification questions, but then he will not be able to present the full uh, picture. No, yeah, we How just, many slides do you have, uh, Mr. Fonseca? Uh, not have many, not many. So if you can rush through that, yeah, okay. we'll get into the debate. Yeah. 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 Um, Honorable Chair, there is a small uh, issue with this staff uh, issue because normally I think uh, earlier you had an exam, uh, I think uh, examination department is normally doing the, you know, uh, all… Administrating all the, of the exam. Yeah, this thing. This time they have put an exam and it is done by a banker's institution, right? So bankers' institution is under the central bank. Honorable yeah. member, shall we right. take it yeah. up yes. after this? Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This, this is another yeah. Just make valid, a note valid, of it. Yeah. valid question that, that is I want to ask. Okay. Right. We, 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 I'll, I'll let you answer that question, but just make okay. a note okay. of okay. it. Okay. Okay. Mr. Fonseca, go ahead. Yes. Okay. The, and in, in this management assistant class, I think uh, from, from the, uh, from the in, entry level, there are certain, based on seniority, there are promotions that, go, that happen into these other grades as well. So it depends on at what point you come in. I mean, I can't tell you exactly what the seniority requirements are, but those are based on certain seniority requirements, they, 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 they go through those grades. So okay, let, if, uh, so let me just uh, um, uh, enlighten you, uh, Honorable Chairman and Honorable Members. There have been severe challenges faced by the central bank, especially in the last two years. The, now, I mean, it is fair to say that, I mean, having been there during the last two years, that uh, taken as a whole, the, 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 the technical staff of the CBSL has performed very well under the guidance of uh, the board as well as the, uh, and, and the governor to achieve certain reversals of the problems that we faced and they uh, the, the and the workload because of that because it was not what you would call a steady state work was significantly increased now on top of that during that period we also had almost a hundred officers that of, at, at the technical level resigning from the services of the bank and including some of the one of our, some of our highly skilled people who for reasons, I mean, their personal reasons, decided to seek greener, uh, greener pastures, mainly, most, uh, practically all of them went to institutions overseas. So that, uh, so, and, uh, and most of them went after resigning, not, not that they took leave or anything, they, they, they just decided to call it a day, gave up their pensions, gave up everything, and then they, then they, then they, then they went off. So that is the environment in which the central bank has had to work in the, last two years, internal environment. I'm not talking about the external environment here. And so let me also just to put into context, I think all you honorable members and honorable chairman are aware. I, I don't want to go one by one, but I don't think there is anybody who will disagree, I hope, that compared to where we were two years ago, the situation today is better in many ways. I'm not saying it is perfect, long way to go, but, but at least it was arrested. Inflation was brought down, managed to go, get through without any major mishap in the financial system, without, uh, uh, despite several challenges initially of some of our banks not being able to meet their obligations to foreign correspondents. Somehow we managed through that situation is that much more stable today than it was. and in. In, uh, in a relatively short period, I mean, of two years, I mean, uh, the countries which have experienced this type of uh, upheaval, 
elsewhere have taken sometimes much longer periods to actually make that correction. The then just let me tell you about the relationship with the consolidated fund that the central bank has. It is correct that uh, in 1950, the consolidated fund allocated 15 million rupees at that time for the establishment of the central bank. After that, central bank has increased its capital through its internal earnings and through and through uh, retention, retention of its uh, 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 earnings and, and created its own reserves. Central bank is not a profit-oriented thing. It's a, it's a regulatory and a, uh, and a uh, policy-making and a regulatory, but it is not, its objective is not to make profit, but the, obviously it is good if you do, but that is not the primary objective. Just, just one moment, yeah. because for, I, I, we, for clarity, how does the central bank make profits? Central bank can make profits through the investment of its reserves, the, the foreign reserves as well as the, the, the mainly the foreign reserves. Then obviously central bank that make is based on a f currency fluctuation, currency fluctuation and, and investment income and, and investment small income amounts. which comes from small amounts, but anyway, the reserves. No, we are talking about significant profits. Yes, yeah, so then, then it, it makes through open market operations in, in conducting monetary policy within the, within the country. I mean, open market operations that it engages with, in, in, uh, with the banking system and, and, uh, and the primary dealers here. Then uh, the, the central bank also um, uh, makes profits to Sinorage in, in the sense that because central bank issues the currency. So that's, those, that's the point I was yeah, trying yeah, to make. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 the, 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 so, so, but the, but, and also there are safeguards, safeguards in the central bank law and even in the previous monetary law back, law that not all profits made by the central bank can be distributed. No, no, that's true. Uh, please forgive me members yeah. because I want to clarify this point so everybody's understanding. Could you explain the word Sinoraj? You said that the central bank can make profits by Sanoraj. Well, it is Sanoraj? basically essentially the difference between the face value of a currency note that you issue in very simple terms and the cost of producing that, that currency note. So if you issue a thousand rupee note and it costs hundred rupees to produce it, so that, so the, so that difference leads to the Sanoraj. The, 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 uh, so, so the more, more, more uh, value uh, that uh, the, the, the number of rupees out there in the market would determine would determine the profit the central bank also makes, Mr. Fernand. No, Mr. no. Fox so it, it 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 will. I mean, it will up to a, it will up to a point. But of course, there is a limit to the amount of currency that the central bank can issue. Also, I mean, it, it can't it can't just issue. I mean, so we we realize that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, Please go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then. Apart from that, the central bank, even though I said it is not a profit-making institution, has also contributed to the consolidated fund through profits that are distributable. And I think uh, uh, I mean, over the years, 302 billion has been transferred to the government as profit transfers. And uh, the, the, then in, in 2023, by converting its treasury bills to long-term treasury bonds, a treasury bill holdings to long-term treasury bonds, it contributed to the government's debt sustainability. The, it was actually the biggest contributor to the government's domestic debt sustainability in, in 2023 through that conversion. The, but we are not trying to take credit for that, are you? No, no, not credit. I'm just telling you what, what, what the, 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 the. But the, the EPF also contributed in a very significant way, Mr. Fonseca. He, but, but the, the central bank's contribution was much higher. So, what is the difference? I can't remember the exact amounts, but we. Not we, we, much. We, huh? Not much. No, no. I think. Okay, that's. So Sixty-six percent was uh, supposedly contributed by the central bank. Supposedly. Yeah. Well, it depends on how you calculate it. I suppose. Yeah. The. the so, uh, okay, to put it in another way, 1.5 percentage points was the 
reduction, reduction of the debt and of that 1% came from the central bank, from, from that conversion. So 0.5% came from the EPF and whoever else contributed to it. So, so the only funds that have been drawn is the initial capital of 15, 15 million. Please go ahead. We are talking about this last three minutes about the consolidated fund and profit making of the central bank. The importance being, are you trying to establish to say these funds' salaries increased are coming from, not the treasury, but from the bank's fund itself? Yes, so, that so is, that's, that, that's the point that you've got to make it. Yeah, that's the point. You see, the, the public in this country wish to know where their tax money is being paid, or is it coming from elsewhere? That's so, the clarification that so you need that to is, make. That is the clarification that I was leading to, to say that the, 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 the salary payments and the expenses of the central bank are not met from tax money. So, so that is why this next question, once again, I'm going to ask, is how do you make profits? Let me ask this question. If you expand money supply, generally speaking, print money, will the profits of the central bank go up? Well, it can go up. Yes, no, it, it can. can no, well, but but it, you can't say it will automatically happen because if the, if the interest rates keep fluctuating, it can go up, it can go down. No, no. In the given context, let's yeah. look at the last few years. Yes. Did the printing of money, quote unquote, yeah. contribute to the increase of profits of the central bank? Not directly, because if you in increase money and if your foreign assets came down and if the rupee depreciated, then you create a big loss. No. What I'm asking is, so in, see, the, so in the last in the last few years, yeah. did did the, let me rephrase the question, yeah. Mr. Fonseca, yeah. for ease of answer. In the last few years, the expansion of monetary uh, money supply, did it contribute to the increase of the central bank's profits, and if so, by how much? I cannot uh, answer that question without reference to the okay, documents, but it 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 it, uh, it, uh, it it could have. But the consequences of that could have also led to losses on the other side. I mean, so it, it is, we have to work out what the net contribution was. But the, 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 the profit is calculated in LKR, isn't it? It is in LKR. I mean, the, the, so I have two, two more slides. Maybe now that I started, I'll finish uh, that and then maybe you can. Who are the other officials who are coming? Yeah, because we are here. The party leaders meeting. Ah uh, no, we, we are just speaking to the the governing board, uh, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Governor. So the, the others are invited from the outs outside the central bank. I don't. Know, it's up to the members. Do you want to have the rest of the members here? Or? And if, if they are there, we would like to know who they are. So, so that Ola, we, yeah, we have Central Bank Deputy, gov Deputy Governors, uh, Director HR, Director Legal, and we can ask them to introduce. And also some representatives of the trade unions as well. Ah, trade five unions? Five, five trade union representatives. We, we have not, sir, we didn't no. invite trade unions, sir. No, we, I, I, I asked uh, uh, yeah, yeah. whether we can bring, because this is a collective agreement we, we, between them. Mr. And Governor, so we took a decision here that it was for only for the governing board. Before you came, you were at another meeting. Yeah. So this was open only to the members of the governing board. And our uh, we have sent out invitations to some other uh, government officials uh, who deal with remuneration of government. So therefore, to you, we'll call another day separately if they need. Yeah. That's a different issue. Yeah. We so not so we, 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 we do not wish to have the yeah, union yeah. members in this meeting. So uh, including the, our senior staff, or you don't want them? No, no. Let yeah. the senior staff stay. Yeah. Okay. Let That's the senior right. staff stay. We don't want the representation of the unions here. Right, right. Thank you. Uh, Governor, will you take yes, it over or do I have no, to finish the... Uh, yeah. uh, no, Governor, uh, with your permission, members, the question we were asking is, uh, uh, the, the Mr. Fonseca was trying to establish the fact that the salaries, the increments, etc., are met by profits of the central bank. Not profits, so, the earnings, yeah. Earnings of the central bank. It has to be, yeah, earnings of the central bank, sorry. So the question that was being asked here is, how does a central bank technically earn or earn profits, you know, what is their income? Uh, and that is what we were uh, uh, discussing. So 
I would like you to sort of elaborate on that so that we all are able to understand where this money is coming because there is some misunderstanding, understanding, malunderstanding, whatever you want to call it, that these monies are either taxpayers' money or is, some, is, is not taxpayers' money. So kindly uh, yeah, elaborate I think, uh, on that. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. තමන්ගේ නම කරුණාකර සඳහන් කරන්න එතකොට අපි දන්නවා කවුද ඇවිත් ඉන්නේ කියලා නන්දලාල් වීරසිංහ ගවර්නර් සෙන්ටර් ඔෆ් බැංක් අපි මලී දවසක දිවචන චන්ද්‍රනාත් අපි සෙක්‍රෙටරි සංකරා දෙමුතු සමරතුංග සංකරා දෙමුතු ප්‍රබන්ධ ඩිරෙක්ටර් හියුමන් රිසෝසස් ඒනෝ කවිකම් සිංහ ඩිරෙක්ටරි මේ මයික් Mike එක දෙන්න. I please because this is for the record. Director Human Resources. Oh, Mahabanku, you are the first one. You are the first one. You are the එතකොට මේ ලාභය හා මේ 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 ඒව තමයි පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ මේ පඩි වැඩි කිරීම සඳහා යන ආදී වශයෙන්. ඉතින් අපේ ප්‍රශ්නය වුණේ කොයි ආකාරයටද මහ බැංකුව ලාභ ලබන්නේ සහ ගියා අවුරුද්ද දෙක ගත්තාම මහ බැංකුවේ ලාභෙන් වැඩි කොටසක් කොහොමද ලබා ගත්තේ කියන එක. ඔබම සූතිය ප්‍රශ්නයට මුලින්ම මම හිතන්නේ මේ නියල්මන් සේක මහත්ම කිව්ව කියලා කිව්ව මෙහෙමයි. මහ බැංකුව කියන්නේ ප්‍රතිපත්ති ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීමේ සහ රෙගුලේටර් විදියට බැංකු පද්ධතියේ අර මුලින්ම අපි කාර්යභාරය පැහැදිලි කරන්නේ එතකොට ප්‍රධාන වශයෙන්ම මහ බැංකුවට ආදායම ලාභ විහ පාඩුව ඉපදෙ ඉපයෙන්නේ මුල්ල ප්‍රතිපත්තිය මොන්ට්‍රි පොලිසිය ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීමේදී ඒ ක්‍රියාත්මක කරන ක්‍රම දෙකක් තියෙනවා ප්‍රධාන වශයෙන්ම ආදායමක් එන්න පළවෙනි තමයි ඕපන් මාකට් ඔපරේෂන්ස් කියන්නේ මහ බැංකුව බැංකු පද්ධතිය ලිකුඩිටි එක මේන්ටේන් කිරීම සඳහා Treasury bills and bonds are not marketing, but buy and sell. They are liquid power. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be ඒක කාලෙන් කාලෙට මුදල් ප්‍රතිපත්තිය අනුව ලාභ වෙන්නත් පුළුවන් පාඩු වෙන්නත් පුළුවන්. බහුතරක් වෙලාවට ලාභ වෙන්න මොකද විදේශ විනිමය අනුපාතය ඩිප්‍රිෂියේට් වෙනවා නම් හිස්ටෝරිකල් එහෙම නැ වෙලා තියෙනවා. එතකොට අපි ඩොලර් බිලියන 10ක් සංචිත් තියෙනවා නම් රුපියල් 10කින් ඩිප්‍රිෂියේට් වුණොත් බිලියන 10ක් බිලියන නිකම්ම මහ බැංකුවේ බැලන්ස් ෂීට් එකේ වටනාකම වැඩලා තියෙනවා. නමුත් තියෙන ඒ ප්‍රතිපත්ති ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීම නිසා ඇති වෙන ලාභය Bidak hari ini mata niatnya makin tahanan, maka itu korang nanti mahabanku itu tuling, laba yang anuasa laba yang create kala laba kerja macam mana, ekor bandar kerja bidan pulu. Ikan sahaja sama mahabanku niatnya mati, ni, ini laba ya, ada ya, tuling mahabanku sahaja nanti ada tu financial independence kerja ni kerja istirahat tu bidan uti, mahabanku selalu mungkin ada awasan kerat pas se, bidan oleh mungkin ada pas se. Itu ruh yang alami. Apa sanci tadi ya, nama prudent central bank itu dia, yang kami kasi prudent ratio kat dia. Liability kita macam permainan, domestic asal macam permainan kita, niatnya macam ni. E permainan, handa bahagian terpasai. 
රජයෙන් යම් කිසි ආකාරයට අය වෙන්න තියෙන නම් අපි ඇඩ්වාන්ස් ඉල්ල හරි මොනවා හරිකේ ඒකත් අය කරගෙන ඉතුරු මුදල ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුට් කිරීමේ නීතියේ තියෙන ප්‍රතිපාදන සෙක්ෂන් 90 යටතේ ඒක පැහැදිලිව තියෙනවා. එතකොට ඒක තමයි ක්‍රමවේදය ඒ අනුව අර ක්‍රම දෙක තමයි මහ බැංකුවට ලාභ ලැබෙන්නේ ආදායමක් ලැබෙන්නේ ඒ ආදායම තමයි මහ බැංකුව කල්පනාකරණය කරගෙන යන්නේ. ඒක පහුගිය අවුරුදු දෙක ඇතුළත බැලුවාම ප්‍රධාන වශයෙන් මගේ ළඟ ටේබල් එකක් තිබුණා වාර්ෂිකව කොච්චර දෙදාස් අර අපේ ප්‍රසන්ටේෂන් එක තිබුණා මුළු කාලය තුළම මහ බැංකුව පවත්වා ගත්ත කාලය තුළම බිලියන 302ක් කොන්සර්ව් ෆන්ඩ් එකට ඒ ලාභ වශයෙන් ලබා දීලා තියෙනවා. මුලින්ම මිලියන 15ක් තමයි මහ බැංකුව පිහිටනකොට කැපිටල් එක විදිහට පිහිටන අවස්ථාවේ පාර්ලිමේන්තු අනුමැතිය 15ක් දීලා තියෙනවා. මිලියන 15කින් පටන් ගත්ත එක ඊට පස්සේ බිලියන 300 ප්‍රමාණයක් දැනට වෙනවා දීලා තියෙනවා. ඒ අනුව පහුගිය කාලය තුළ බැලුවොත් සවවතුමා දැන් අන්තිම අවුරුදු කීපයේ දෙදාස් පහළොවේ සහ දෙදාස් දහටේ පාඩු ලැබීම නිසා හෝ අර සංචිත තිබිච ප්‍රමාණය නැති නිසා මේ බෙදා හැරලා නැහැ. දෙදාස් දාසයේ බිලියන 6.3ක්, දෙදාස් දාහතේ බිලියන 15ක්, දෙදාස් දහනමේ බිලියන 24ක්, දෙදාස් 20 බිලියන 15ක්, දෙදාස් 20 කේ බිලියන 31ක්. කොන්සල්ටර් ෆන්ඩ් එකට ඒ ඒ නීති යටතේ බෙදා හැරලා තියෙනවා දෙදාස් 22 23 වර්ෂවල මහ බැංකුවේ වෙලා තියෙන්නේ ප්‍රධාන වශයෙන්ම අර සංචිත අඩුවීම නිසා සහ ලයබිලිටිස් අර ඒසීඋ වගේ ලයබිලිටිස් වලට ලයබිලිටිස් බර වැඩි වුණාම ෆොරින් එක්ස්චේන්ජ් වලින් බැංකුවේ බැලන්ස් ෂීට් එකට මාක් ටු මාකට් ලොස් එකක් තියෙනවා. එතකොට ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුට් කරන්න බෑ. එතකොට 2022 මාක් ටු මාකට් ලොස් එක බිලියන් 374යි 23 114යි විශේෂයෙන් 23 අඩුවීමට ප්‍රධාන හේතුව ණය ප්‍රතිවාත කිරීමේදී මහ බැංකුවේ තියෙන නයතෝගේ ට්‍රිලියන 3 කට ආසන ප්‍රමාණයක් රජයට සහනයක් වශයෙන් අර ණය ප්‍රතිවාත කිරීමේ 1.5% of DFN reduction එකෙන් domestic debt optimization එකෙන් 1% ම දායකත්වයේ ලැබුණ මහ බැංකුවේ තියෙන ට්‍රෙෂරි බිල් රිසර්ච් කිරීම. ඒක නිසා තමයි 2023 වසරේ ලාභයක් ලැබිලා නැහැ. ඒක නිසා ගෙවලා නැහැ. ඊට කලින් අවුරුදු තුළ හැම වසරේම ලාභය තියෙනකොට අර විදිහට ගන්න ගෙවලා තියෙනවා. හරි. එතකොට මම මේ ප්‍රශ්නේ මේ විදිහට ඇහුවොත් ගන්න මේ අපේ මේ මේ අධිපතිතුමා 21 22 23 කියන අවුරුදු වල මහ බැංකුව ලාභයක් ලැබුවද නැද්ද කියලා ප්‍රශ්නයට උත්තරේ මහ බැංකුවේ net profit or loss as ifers accounting විදිහට 21 158ක් ලාභ ලැබලා තියෙනවා. විසිදෙකේ 374 ක් පාඩු ලැබලා තියෙනවා 2023ක් 117 ක් පාඩු ලැබලා තියෙනවා බැලන්ස් ෂීට් එක. හරි. සර් චාමන් just one matter to clarify from the governor in the earlier meeting he mentioned this section 23 of the central bank act which appears in as a first section under part 3 employees of the central bank 23 1 23 1 says governing board may appoint and remove employees of the central bank <coughs> and may determine the terms and condition of the employment including the remuneration then there is a prohibition in section subsection 2 232 no remuneration shall be based on the profits of the central bank or any of its revenue so there is a clear prohibition by law that you base the remuneration on either the profits and not just the profits on any of your revenue also so where are you getting these monies to increase the salary now basis what's the basis yeah. so that that is a relevant question mr governor and the commissioners mr fonseca you were explaining to us that the monies that you utilize to remunerate the employees of the bank come from your revenues Uh, 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 honorable chairman when you say it is based i mean what it means is you can't say that you will give 15% of your salary as uh, 15% of your revenue as as a as a as a remuneration for the uh, for, for the employees but it does not mean that you cannot use the revenue it cannot be based on whether the central bank makes a profit or a loss or whether it earns money or doesn't turn money o mokada metana vela thiyena garu sumandaran mantrithuma දැන් මෙතුමාලා පිළිගන්නවා ගිය අවුරුදු දෙකේ මහ බැංකුවේ විශාල පාඩුවක් ලැබුවා කියලා. හරි එතකොට එහෙමනම් ඒක බේස් කරනවා නම් පාඩුව මත පරි වැඩි කිරීමක් සිද්ධ කරන්න බෑ. නමුත් එතුමා කියන්නේ ඒක මත බේස් කරනවා කියන එකෙන් අදහස් වෙන්නේ නෑ. මේ ලාභෙන් මෙච්චරක් පඩි 
Vedi Venava Kiyaneka. So there is an interpretation there, Mr. Sumandran, that we'll have to make. It's not very clear. No, what, what Mr. Fonseca says is not the only uh, basis that is prohibited. That you say so much of percentage of revenue or so much of percentage of profits uh, will be added to the remuneration. That's not the only. There has to be a basis. There has to be a basis. So the question is, question that we are asking is, what did you base it on? If you did not base it on your profits or your revenue, <coughs> what did you base it on? We haven't come to that question yet. We, we were still coming to that point, and when we come to that point, I will raise it, uh, Mr. Sumadhan, Mr. Sumadhan. Please go ahead. We, we, we. This was the last one we discussed. From here, we have to, but we have to go and do the slides. Uh, uh, Honorable uh, Kumar, Kumar Tunga, Mr. Vijay Singh was sitting working on the computer. So if you can move here, Mi Mr. Kumar Tunga, if you can move here, please. Yeah. Let's start from here. Yeah. Honorable Chairman, uh, the Governor will continue from yeah. where I left off. Yeah. That's I fine. I think. Uh, That's fine. Uh, That's fine. So this uh, uh, may presentation pen and then slide uh in case the are prashita uttare specific factors that were considered in granting the salary revision in the last one. So these are the uh, consideration in negotiation with the trade trade unions and the uh, governing board. First factor that was considered was high level of staff resignation. Uh, I think I don't know whether I we show the table table. The cable is lowest staff for last 10 years that we are operating with double the work. That's the one reason. And also to retain the remaining trained technical competence staff and uh, give them a motivation and at least encourage them to stay without migrating. And also the historically salary revision applies every once in every three years without any adjustment in between. So that's a collective agreement process that we have had. Then, obviously, the important factor historically, central bank salaries have been comparative. Com comparators are banking sector. That has been since 1991, that's why I said in one of the interviews. And I was, I was recruited to the People's Bank as a management trainer through computer exam. And then I was able to come through the same process in 1991, the central bank. The reason I joined the central bank even at that time in 1991, so they have also great under, they are understanding that central bank salaries are higher than even the banking sector, even at that time. So that has been the factor. It has been there all the time. So that is one of the reasons central bank comparator are mainly the uh, issue we regulate and also the fact that if we train financial sector uh, people, if the market is going to give them a higher salary, it's a waste of our training and money. Then people can move out and earn high salary from somewhere else, either uh, or the state banks or private banks. Private banks obviously much higher at high grades. So these, these are the specific factors. And obviously, in the next slide, if you can show specific limitations that central bank staff, employees have. First one, unlike the any other public sector, a lot of universities or oh, doctors, anyone, central bank employees are not permitted to engage in any other professional or business. They that's are prohibited. That's in the law. Yeah, yeah, not not prohibited. They are prohibited. Prohibited. Yeah, prohibited. Sorry, are not permitted. Second, they have restriction in even investing. They can't do any trade of any government securities. They can't invest any whatever savings in an institution that we regulate, even public listed companies. And also new act has given even more tighter restriction. Any staff, those who are resigning from the central bank, there is a cooling period of three years. That is the highest cooling period as far as we know in the, in, in the world. Central bank employee, they can go only abroad. They can't go and work in any financial institution. Now, under the, oh, that, that's a, other, these are the limitations on the central bank employees compared to other employees. So that's, uh, those are the three specific factors. I mean, just one moment. Yeah. I mean, the reason for that, whether three years is extensive or otherwise can be debated, I think there was a debate there as well. But what happened was the revolving door policy. 
you had deputy governors resigning today exactly. and joining bank boards the next day. That you was know, the practice earlier. That was the practice. There was a certain conflict of interest there. Exactly. And that had to be stopped. And there is always a cooling off period yeah. when you hold senior positions like this. Yeah, whether 18 months or 36 months is something yeah, that, that we can perhaps uh, certainly, debate later. You know, this is where the limitation for opportunities for central banks are now. They have to be unemployed in the expertise field for three years once they resign. So that has an additional <coughs> kind of a burden being a central banker joining in the bank now compared to earlier, as you said. Next day, they became a chairman of the commercial banks. Or but, other banks. but note that this doesn't apply to every employee of the central bank. Every employee, including the mine employee. No, that, that, that was never, I hmm? don't think, including the board, intentions. Including the board members. These board members also can't serve any other financial, board, uh, financial institution any, anywhere after three years of they are, they are uh, ending their term. That's, I think, okay, but here board. the issue is... Here the issue is whether, I don't know, I'm just opening this up for p further sir, discussion later. Again, in management assistance like, um, uh, minor staff, why buy in Karan? No, no, no. All employees kill the end. Eka go to the Anna staff and then Eka Supreme Court take a Genapu amendment in Africa. Nana Eka Mangitani, Amkisi Mokapit Tarkakara, Eki, Ethan is Apetar Kune. Senior officers, la staff, not mine employees. Oh, oh Supreme Court take a Supreme Calling a bill like a Tibuni Mangtan, Aruda Kulim Ape, Tibuna practice at Tibuna Api, okay, in a calling. Code of conduct at the Tibuna one year cooling period at Dal. I thought a lawyer at Tokena, one year. Supreme Court take a 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 the no, Supreme Court take it. Api ita calling be draft stage game. Api QA staff level ke That was included by us. Yeah, we said the, staff we, level. We had debate. So, so anyway, let's take yeah. that up later. We'll make sure that we bring it up with the ministry. Yes, go ahead, please. Honourable Chair, just before moving, uh, which means, if, if, as I understand, governor's chauffeur cannot be a chauffeur elsewhere for three years. That's kind of ridiculous. In my that, view. That's at the financial institution. Another financial, 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 financial. Another financial institute, you can't, she can't be a shopper yeah, conflict, elsewhere. Yeah. So that's conflict. kind of a, yeah, I don't I know whether it's infringing yeah. the fundamental rights of employees. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> right, please go ahead. Yeah, slide make it is the most important slide, uh, just to highlight the fact that the central bank, I mean, if you, I don't know whether you can see it clearly, how fast solutions under the collective agreement process has happened. Uh, we have data from 2006 to once in a, once in three years how this has increased. So here, key points that I would like to make: 20, 20, 2006 to 2008, that three-year period. Also, there has been a highest grade deputy governor grade 93 percent increase, lowest grade 20 uh, percent, compared to monthly salary bill increase by 31 percent average increase, and also. Inflation during those three years, 30 percent. That's the first part. Uh, still, there has been a larger variation from low grades to high grade, 2006 to 8, that three-year period. Uh, that's one point. And again, 2015 and 17, there has been similar increases from lower grades to high grades, up to 72 percent. And also here, difference is that up to 2019, on top of this, Central Bank borne the tax liability of this over and above, this is net of tax. Means central bank paid tax on behalf of the employee. This, this was the practice earlier, a lot of a certain enterprise. Then this was raised at one of the co-op meetings, and then Monty Board decided at the time to stop that. And then we made our staff liable to pay individually from 2019 on. So if you compare increases 2021 and 2023 and last increase, all those two increases, they are liable to pay on their own taxes depending on 36 percent or uh, now say 24 percent or 18 percent whatever so compared to those two last two revisions early revisions actual net impact net of tax has been much higher so just want to make that point this is not something because central bank was given the independence in the new act it's not because of that it has been there in the process, once in every three years, this has been a, a process, not only central bank, all the banks, state banks, and some of the other corporations 
this this has been happening so this is ju just to point out and also compare last increase 50 percent increase uh, salary bill monthly bill of which during this period inflation going up this is not fully compensation for the inflation 80 percent inflation only 50 percent increase out of this 50 percent increase also employers will have to pay their tax tax component of total bill 24 percent directly going to the treasury as tax income so that's why net increase obviously is compared to last two years much lower than earlier increases this is this is some legacy issue that we have been new this board had to deal with the trade unions especially during the most difficult times where taxes were raised and inflation was higher and trade unions has bargaining power under collective agreements so once we have agreed that you fix that for three years uh, i think i have a Garu, yeah. garu, garu. Burning, burning question to clarify before I go further. Mr. Ratnayaka and now to the Governor. The preamble of this debate or the discussion entered, I think, the fourth time or the fifth time now, saying that they, they inherited a certain tradition. Every three years there was this bargaining uh, constitution. But we are talking about a post-crisis condition. So we cannot apply those pre-condition, pre-crisis uh, Situations and transplant them. Yeah, and say, I, I, we have to be the same way. Honorable Chair, I have a question. Well, Mr. Wale, let me uh, finish. Yeah. Let me finish my question. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so therefore, Mr. Atnaika and uh, Honorable Governor, I am not willing to accept that position, saying that we had the previous idea. Therefore, we continue. To me, you know, Johnny Ben, more than anybody else, this country has gone through unprecedented crisis. So um, it's unfair for us to expect the people. Okay, we did this in 2000, we did this in 2000, uh, 1990, uh, therefore we have to continue. What point they got, I think? We ah, yeah. formulated the argument. That argument will not go through. Right, before before, 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 before I, I ask Mr. Wale, Wale but Honorable Wale, but yes. Sabah Bhutumar, the Anita Lankawe, the Central Bank, the regulatory bodies may be there, Gana Navati, no. Maja Nubhita Commission, Sustainable Development Authority. Eva Gema, Thao Goda Kaayadana, no. Methi in a crisis situation, Niki, E. Hama Aitania Katama, Mia, the Angutpa, the Nikarani, Avasani, the Gatu, public funds, Tamai, revenue with their creative line, Central Bank at the Himai, making either not at the Himai. It's a quarter, Methan and Nithi taking the Kina Karna out of Amatra, Sadachar, Pasna, Nirvana, Latino, Arthikar, Buddha, Samane Karan, Karkaba, the Rapita, the Anita, the Nikataka, and the Berita, the Patela, the Nama, Lankawe, monetary policy. Sarah Artike, Rudir and Al Paddi Hasurona, Aitane Vidator, Tama Me Aitane, Himakate to Krimu Pilbado. Eganisa, Ratata, Samaja, Apitik Ganadin Kurna, Aitan Walter, Sadar, Pilitura, Dinapurang with the Sadar Nikarnak, Mabanko Adibu, Mudal Mandele, Rata Idri, Tabi, Devini Prasne, Ilanga, Ilanga. Mitchell Kalia, Mahabang Good, Bandavagan in Kaligar Sabahi Tumuni, Lanka, Upadda Ringing, Sudusukamata, Ilum Patrak and the Vala, Vibhaga Department Twin, Itam Rahasika Takare, Vibhaga Potala, Ilangata, Samuka Parks and Alta Kandavala. Then Mivara, Mahabanku, Tamange, Palane at the Tina, Sri Lanka, Bangukarwangi, Aitani at the Ilum Patrak and the Vala, Egolu Prasna Patradala, Egolu Trapatrabala, Egolu Samuka Parks and Potala. Mulu Vibhagam of Pretipara and Gutkaran in Etua, Tamanta Kamatia Karet, Itama Kissima, we knew the Bahakin Toro, Kissima, we knew the Bahakin Toro, Lankawe, Mudal Petipatia, Tawa, Aurdu, the Haikin, Pahalokin, Tiranaker, Kandai, Mehem, Hasika, the Vidiate. Abidana, Mitter, Kotcher, Dusan of Mana Velatino, the Gila, Taman Hitawa, the Kotcher, Badok, and the Tino Gilapidanina, Evita and Nemi, Rate, no Padi Dahari, Nidas, Adihapane, Harahapu, Milianangan and Vedankal, Peter, Adihapan, Lanka, Avilaina. The Hasa good dinner, make it dripatin in our stava, some poor in Nettical Latino. It may mehema, may swadi in a te dapi, Panata Samataka, Labadunikin, Mamahano, Tamunansi. Make a Madala da Karusa, what about what a kin, Collective agreements, you know, petroleum, Megagatat, Varai Gatat, Jalasampa, the Nemandle Gatat, Vidulibala Mandele Gatat, Ehamakamatino, the Raja Katheater, 
රජයට විශාල ප්‍රශ්නයක් ඇති වෙනවා දැන් ඒ ආයතන වල ඉන්න නිලධාරීන්ටත් ඒ පදනම මතම පදනම ඒක නම් එයාටත් සියල්ල ගෙවන්න වෙනවා ඉතින් ඒකට ලබා දෙන මට ඒ ආයතන වල සම්බන්ධ වෙච්ච නිලධාරීන් මට කිව්වා ඔබතුමාලගේ නිලධාරීන් එක තිබිච්ච සාකච්ඡාවල මුදල් අමාත්‍යංශ ලේකම් මට කිව්වා ඔය තිබිච්ච සාකච්ඡාවල එතුමල ඔළුව අත ගහගෙන ඔළුව අත ගහගෙන මේ වගේ දෙයකට කොහොම එකඟ වෙන්නද කියලා කතා කරයි කියලා ඉතින් අපි මේකට දැන් අපි මහජන නියෝජිතයෝ පාර්ලිමේන්තුව අපිට මේකට උත්තර දෙන්න ඔබතුමාලගේ දෙන අදහස උපදේශ මොකද්ද කියන එක තමයි කියන්නේ ආ දාසිරි දාසිරි මහතුතුමා මට මේ මම මේක කලින් ඇහුවා අපේ මේ සම්බන්ධ මේ තුමා මේක නවත් පින්දා අපෝ මේක කරේ ඇත්තටම මේ මේ බැංකුකරුවන්ගේ ආයතනයේ කියන්නේ සභාපතිතුමා මේ ආයතනයේ යටතේ පවතින අධීක්ෂණය යටතේ පවතින ආයතනය ඒතුර ඒ ආයතනයේ තමයි මේ විභාගයේ පවත්වන වැඩ කටයුතු එක කරන්න මෙච්චර කවුරු විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුව විසින් කරපු එක ඒතකොට පැහැදිලිව අපිට ඕනම් කෙනෙකුට සැක කරන්න තියෙන කාරණයක් මෙතන තියෙනවා කවුද තෝරගත්තේ කොයි දිල තෝරගත්තේ ලකුණු මට්ටම දාලා නැහැ කා කට්ටියක් ඉන්ටර්වූ කෝල් කරනවා මේ මේක ඇත්තටම මේක ස්වාධීන කරපු එකේ තියෙන මේ ප්‍රති විභාග මේක දිගට තමයි අපේ කට්ටිය ඔක්කොම අහන්නේ ඉතින් ඒවල ඇත්තටම ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නෙක ඉන්නවා මේ කරුණා කරලා මේක මෙතනින් අරගෙන මේක විස්සල ඉවර කරන්න ගරු සභාපති මිනි මං හිතන්නේ මේ මීට පෙර සාකච්ඡාවට අධිපතිතුමා ඇතුළු සිරුම දින සම්බන්ධ වුණා එතනදී පැහැදිලි කිරීම අනුව දැන් මෙතන පඩි වැඩි වීම හරිද නැද්ද කියන එක අපි පැත්තකින් තිබ්බත් මේ ගෙවීම පිළිබඳව මහ බැංකුව ඉදිරිපත් කරන එකක් කලෙක්ටිව් ඇග්‍රිමන්ට් එකක් කියන කරුණ සහ අනිත් කරුණ තමා මහ බැංකුවේ මේ මුදල් ඒකාබද්ධ අර මුදලකින් නැතුව මහ බැංකුව විසින් උපයා ගන්නා සල්ලි වලින් ගෙවනවා කියන තරක දෙක තමයි ඉදිරිපත් කරන්නේ එතකොට මේ කලෙක්ටිව් ඇග්‍රිමන්ට් එක දැන් කම්කරු අමාත්‍යංශයත් එක්ක සයින් කරලා නැහැ ඒතර කලෙක්ටිව් ඇග්‍රිමන්ට් එක නීතියානුකූල වෙන්නේ ඇග්‍රිමන්ට් එක සයින් කරලා ගැසට් කරන්න ඕනේ එතකොට මේ පඩි වැඩි වීමට කම්කරු අමාත්‍යංශයයි වෘත්තීය සමිතියේ පාලන අධිකාරිය තුනමෙක් අවිලා තමයි පඩි වැඩි වීම කරන්න ඕනේ එතකොට කලෙක්ටිව් ඇග්‍රිමන්ට් කතාව එතනින් ඉවරයි ඒක නීතියානුකූල නැහැ ඊළඟට දැන් මෙතන මුදල් අමාත්‍යංශයත් ඉන්නවා විංගිරකාධිපති දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවත් ඉන්නවා එතකොට දැන් මේ මහ බැංකුව උපයන සල්ලි ඒ සඳහා පනත් හදලා දෙන්නේ පාර්ලිමේන්තුවෙන් මහ බැංකුව සල්ලි උපයන ක්‍රම තියෙනවා ලාභ ලබන ක්‍රම පොඩි අනුපාතය වෙන්න පුළුවන් අර ලාභ වෙන්න පුළුවන් එතකොට ඒ අයට ඉන්ටර්නල් සර්කියුලර් හදාගෙන සල්ලි උපයන්න බෑ ඒ සල්ලි උපයන්නේ විශේෂයෙන්ම පාර්ලිමේන්තු පනතක් එතකොට දැන් ඒ වගේම මේ අරමුදලට එද්දා සමසේ පනහේ බාණ්ඩාගාරයේ මිලියන 50ක් දාලා දෙන්න තියෙන මිලියන 15ක් දැන් අපිට මතකයි මම හිතන්නේ ස්ලිට් ආයතන අපි 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 මේක ගොඩක් එළියට යනවා නෑ නෑ මේක නෑ එළියට නෑ මේක නෑ දැන් එතකොට ප්‍රශ්න තියෙන සභාපතිතුමා දැන් මොකද මෙතන පාත් ප්‍රශ්න පැහැදිලි දැන් දැන් අපි කියන්නේ කොහෙත්ම මේක නීත්‍යානු මේක ගෙවීම නීත්‍යානුකූල නෑ විශේෂයෙන් දැන් මේ මේ වගේ ආයතනයට මෙහෙම ගෙවන්න මේ පඩි වැඩි කරගන්න මෙහෙම දුන්නොත් අපි මොකද්ද මේකට දෙන පොඩක් එන්න ගරු මාතුතුමා ගෙවිඳු කුමාතුංග මාතුතුමාගේ ප්‍රශ්නයෙන් පස්සේ මම මේ මෙතනින් ප්‍රශ්න ඇසීම නවත්තලා තව එක ස්ලයිඩ් එකයි තියෙන්නේ ඒ ස්ලයිඩ් එක ඉවරණයින් පස්සේ මේ සියලු ප්‍රශ්න වලට එන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා राजकारी क्रीमिशन सीमा वरप्रसादी का मत कर राजकारण <laughs> හරි මෙහෙමයි දැන් මම මෙහෙමයි කරන්නේ දැන් අවසාන ස්ලයිඩ් එක තියෙනවා හි ඉස් ෆිනිෂ්ඩ් හි ඉස් ෆිනිෂ්ඩ් නෝ ද වී හැවන් ගෝන් ටු ද ලාස්ට් ස්ලයිඩ් හි ඉස් ෆිනි
he, you didn't hear he told that he, he has finished but they were in our presentation no no ek ne me no no the person who is presenting is saying that it's done so we don't have to go so right so then we will go in order of the questions that were raised ඉස්සලම මං මං අහන්න මම කැමති දැනගන්න දැන් HR එක ඉන්නවා වලේබොඩ මන්ත්‍රීතුමයි දාසිරි ජයසේකර මන්ත්‍රීතුමයි ප්‍රශ්න ඒ කියන්නේ බරාරුම් ප්‍රශ්න දෙකක් එකම ප්‍රශ්නේ දෙන්නේ කැහුවා අපි මේ ප්‍රශ්නෙන් පටන් අරගෙන මේ සදාචාරාත්මකද නීති ආනුකූලද කියන එක පස්ස පැත්තකින් තියමු ඉස්සල අතරින් පටන් ගමුකෝ බොහොම සූතේ ප්‍රශ්න ගැන මේකේ තියෙන මුලින්ම මේ ඉබිඑස්එල් කියන ආයතනය මහ බැංකුව සහ සියලුම බැංකුකරුවන්ගේ එකතු කරලා පවත්වාගෙන යන ආයතන අපේ යම්කිසි නියෝජනයක් ඉන්න බෝඩ් එකේ අනිකුත් බැංකු වලත් සීඕ වලත් තමයි ඒක බෝඩ් එකේ ඉන්නේ එතකොට මෙතෙන්දී ඇයි මහ බැංකුවට මේ මදවා ගැනීම කරන්න සිද්ධ වුණේ ඔබතුමාලා බැලුවොත් අපේ ස්ටාෆ් එක අඩුම ප්‍රමාණයට ආව එක් දාස් එකසිය අසු ගණන් වලට ගම මේ පහුගිය කාලය තුළ යාම නිසා එතකොට දෙදාස් විසි දෙකේ ඉඳලා මේ වෙනකන් මේ වෙනකන් අපේ රෙක්‍රූට් කරන ග්‍රේස් එකක් තියෙනවා එකක් මැනේජ්මන්ට් ට්‍රේනි අනිත් එක මැනේජ්මන්ට් ඇසිස්ටන්ට් ඒ ලෙවල් ක්වොලිෆයිඩ් අය තිස් හතර තිස් දහක් වාඩි වෙන විභාගයට මැනේජ්මන්ට් ට්‍රේනි තව දහ දහක විතර වාඩි වෙනවා ක්වොලිෆයිඩ් ග්‍රැජුවේට්ස්ලා ඒතර මේ විභාග පැවැත්වීම සඳහා විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවත් එක්ක අපේ එච්ආර් ඩිපාර්ට්මන්ට් එක සාකච්ඡා කරේ දෙදාස් විසි දෙකේ ඉඳලා මේ වෙනකන් බැංකින් ඇසිස්ටන්ට් ලගේ විභාගයේ පැවැත්වීමට වත් විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුව අපට දිනයක් දීලා නැහැ හේතුව ඒගොල්ලෝ කියනවා අපේ මූලිකත්වය තියෙන්නේ ඒ ලෙවල් ඕ ලෙවල් ඒවත් දැන් කරගන්න බැරුව ඉන්නේ ඒවත් ප්‍රමාද කරලා තියෙන්නේ ප්‍රතිඵල දෙන්න ප්‍රමාද වෙලා තියෙන්නේ ලකුණු කරන්න කට්ටිය නැහැ ඒතර ඒ ආයතනයේ ඒ ක්‍රමය තුළ අපගේ විශාල වශයෙන් ස්ටාෆ් එක අඩුගෙන යනකොට බර වැඩි වෙනකොට අපිට දැඩි අවස්ථා තියෙනවා අපිට බඳවා ගන්න යම් කිසි ආකාරයක්. ඒතර අපි බැලුවාම ලංක බැංකුව. අපිට පෙර ලංක බැංකුවත් ඒක ෂෙයා හෝල්ඩර් කෙනෙක්. ඒතර ලංක බැංකුව සහ මහජන බැංකුවත් මේ ක්‍රමවේදය සාර්ථක නොවන නිසා අවුරුදු දෙක තුනක් යනකම් ඇත වශයෙන්ම ෆොරින් සර්විස් එක කතා කරත් මම කතා කරන ෆොරින් සෙකරටරිට ඒගොල්ලන්ටත් බඳවා ගන්න බැරි මොකද විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවේ තියෙන ක්‍රමවේදය තුල ඒක කරන්න බෑ. අවුරුදු ගානක් යනවා. ඒත් ඒක නිසා මේක අපි සාකච්ඡා කරා IBSL එකත් එක්ක. ඒගොල්ලෝ IBSL එක කියන්නේ මුළු දිවයින පුරාම බැංකින් සර්ට් එක්සෑම්ස් තවුස් දාස් ගානකට කරන ආයතනයක් යම්කිසි රෙපියුටේෂනක් තියෙනවා. කරපු එක. ඊට අමතරව ලංක බැංකුව මේ පාවිච්චි කළ මීට කලින් ඒ විදියට කළ කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැතුව ඒ කරපු ආයතනයක් ඒතර ඒගොල්ලොත් එක සාකච්ඡා කරාම අපිට මාස හතරක් තුළ පුළුවන් වුණා ඒ ක්‍රමවේදයටම ස්වාධීනව අපි බැලුව කොහොමද කරන්නේ කොහොමද කරන්නේ කියලාද විභාග දෙවාරන්ත කරන ක්‍රමවේදයටම තමයි ඒකට විරුද්ධව අපි එක ට්‍රේඩ් එක නඩුවක් දාම ඒක නඩුව උසාවි සුප්‍රීම් කෝට්ටේ තියෙනවා නමුත් අපි එතෙන්දී ඒක පිළිග ගිහිල එදවත් කරා සුප්‍රීම් කෝට්ටේ අවසර දුන විභාග කරගෙන යන්න කියලා නවත්තන්න රිට්ටක් කිව්වාට විභාග සුප්‍රීම් කෝට්ටේ ඊට දුන මේක කරගෙන යන්න ප්‍රශ්න නැහැ කියලා ඔව් කියන කරුණු ඉදිරිපත් කරාම එතකොට අපි දැනටත් අපි බැංකින් ඇසිස්ටන්ට් කියන අය ගන්න දෙදා ස්විස් දෙකේ ඉඳන් දෙදා ස්විස් දෙකට වෙන ගන්න තවමත් දිනයක් නැහැ එතකොට අපි කොහොමද ආයතනයක් පවත්වාගෙන යන්නේ අපිට අවශ්‍ය කරන අය බඳවා ගැනීමට නොහැකි නම් ඒ තියෙන ක්‍රමවේදය තුළ අනිත් එක ඒ ක්‍රමවේදයම තමයි ඒ ආයත් කරන විභාගය පවත්වලා අපට දෙනවා නල් ලිස්ට් එක අපි සීයක් ගන්නවා එකසි පහක නල් ලිස්ට් එක වෙනවා ලකුණු එකක් දෙන්න නැහැ ඊට පස්සේ අපි ලකුණු තිහයට ඉන්ටර්වියු කරලා දැම්මට පස්සේ ඒ ටික ලකුණු ටික යවුවාම විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුව කියනවා මෙන්න මේ ලැස්සු අනුව ඔබතුමාල තෝරගන්න පළවෙනි සීය කියලා. එතකොට එහෙම ට්‍රාන්ස්පරන්සි වියක් එකක් එහෙම ට්‍රාන්ස්පරන්සි වියක් නැහැ විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තු විභාග පැවැත්වීමේදී අපිට අපි යද්ද දැකීම. දෙවනි එක ඒ ගන්න කාලය අනුව ආයතනයක් විදියට මෙච්චර කාල් සේවක බඳවා ගන්න නැතුව මේක කරගෙන යන අමාරු. එතකොට මේ ක්‍රමයේ යම්කිසි අඩුපාඩුවක් තියෙනවා නේ. යම්කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා අපි ඕන මොලාක සූදානම් ඕනම කෙනෙක් විදිහට ගිහිල්ලා මේක තියෙන ප්‍රශ්න ඉදිරිපත් කරන්න මොක අකුරුට තාම කද වෙලා තියෙනවද? මොන හරි ප්‍රශ්න පත්‍රයක වැරද්ද කළා තියෙනවද ඒක ලීක් කළා තියෙනවද වැරදි ලකුණු කළා තියෙනවද පෙම ගිහිල්ලා තියෙනවද ඒ ඕනම දෙයකට අපි සූදානම් ඉන්ඩිපෙන්ඩන්ට් ඉන්කවරි කරන්න ඔබතුමා හෝ කවුරුන් හෝ ඕනම කෙනෙක් අපිට තියෙන දීපු ඇසුරන්ස් එක අපි සකත්තා කරා මේක ඉතාම ක්‍රමානුකූලව නියම ක්‍රමයකට ආවා කරපු ඔබතුමා කියලා වලේබොඩ මන්ත්‍රීතුමා දාසි ජයසේකර මන්ත්‍රීතුමා තව ප්‍රශ්න තියෙනවද එතුමාගේ අහනේ සම්බන්ධයෙන් 
ಗೌರ ಸಭಾಪತಿ ಮೇ ಅಧಿಪತಿ ಪಿಲುತುರ ದಯಾಸಿರಿ ಮಂತುಮಾಗೆ ಸಹ ಬೆಲೆ ಮಂತುಮಾಗೆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಪಿಲುತುರ ತುಳ ತೀರ್ಣ ಮುಖಾಕ್ದ ಮಿತಿಕ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕರಗನಾಪು ಈ ಸಾಂಪ್ರದಾಯಿಕ ವಡ್ಡ ಪಿಲುವೇಲ ಪಹುಗೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಕಿಬ್ಬೆ ಕರಣ ಬೆರೆ ಉಣ ರಟೆ ತತ್ವೆ ನಿಸ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಆವಾ ಮುದಾಳ ಅರ್ಬುದ ಆವಾ ಈ ನಿಸ ವಿಭಾಗ ದೇಪಾರ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಬೆಗ್ಲೋಕ್ಕೆ ಆವ ಈ ನಿಸ ರಟೆ ಮೀ ಪಾವತಿನ ತತ್ವೆ ತುಳ ತಮೈ ಅರ ಪೆರಣಿ ವಿಭಾಗ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ ಕರಗಣ ಬೆರೆ ಉಣಿ ಈಗ ತಮೈ ಹೈ ಏ ದೆಂಗ್ ಬೇ ರಟೆ ಮತ್ತು ವೇಚ್ಚ ಏ ತತ್ವೆ ನಿಸ ಎಂಗಳು ವಿಭಾಗ ಇಕ್ಮಂಡ ತಿಯಾನ ವೆನಕಮೆ ಪಾವಿಚಿ ಕರಣ ಹೇ ರಟೆ ಮತ್ತು ಚಲಿಗಳು ಗಣ್ಣದು ಪಡಿಬಡಿ ಕರ ಪಿಲು ಪರಸ್ಪರ ಏನೇ ರಟೆ ಮೇ ರಟೆ ಮೈ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಅರ್ಬುದ ಮೇ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಅರ್ಹ ಮೇ ನಿಸಾದ ಮೈ ಮೇ ಅರ ಪೆರಣಿ ವಿಧಿ ಅಟ ಮೆತುಮಲ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ ವಿಧಿ ಅಟ ಮೆತುಮ ಕಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಮಹತ್ವಕ್ಕೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀರಿ ಬಿ ಕಾಂ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಹಂದ ಗಮಲ ಅರ್ಗುಳು ಮೇಗುಳ್ಳು ಅಪಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಮೇ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಮೇ ಮೇ ಮಹಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕೋಟ ಆವೇ ಅರ ಪೆರಣಿ ಕ್ರಮೇ ಅದು ದಯ ಪೆರಣಿ ಕ್ರಮೇ ಅದು ವಿಭಾಗ ವಿಭಾಗ ಭಾರತ ವಿಭಾಗ ವಿಭಾಗ ಬೆಗ್ಲೋಕ್ ಎತ್ತೀನೋನೆ ಈ ಬೆಗ್ಲೋಕ್ ಆವೇ ಮೇ ರಟೆ ಮತ್ತು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಅರ್ಬುದಿ ಅರ್ಬುದಿ ಅತುಲಿ ಎತ್ತುಡಿ ಏಕ ಸಾಧಾರಣೀಕರಣ ಮೇ ಬಿಳುತ್ತ ದಿನವನ್ನ ಎತ್ತುಡಿ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಸಲಗಿಲ್ಲ ಗಂಡ ನೆತ್ತು ಅದಮಯ್ ಅಣಿ ಪತ್ತೆ ಪಡಿಬೇಡಿ ಈ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಶ್ನೆ ಮಾ ನೆಗಮ ಪೊಡಿ ಪೆಹದಿಲಿ ಕಿರಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ನವಶೆ ಅತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ದಿಪಾರ್ಥ ಮೇಂತು ಅತ್ತೇಕ ಮಮ್ಮಿ ಕಾರಣವ ಸಾಕಲ್ಲ ಮಗದು ಉಣೇ ಕೇಲ ಮೇ ಮೆತುಮ ಕೇಪು ಕಾರಣವ ನಿಮಗೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಪದ್ಧತಿ ತೀಯನ್ನೆ ವಿಭಾಗ ದಿಪಾರ್ಥ ಮೇಂತು ಕರಣ್ಣೆ ವಿಭಾಗ ಪಾವತ್ತಲ ಇಲ್ಲು ಪತ್ರ ಕೆಂದವಲ ವಿಭಾಗ ಪಾವತ್ತಲ ಅಪಿ ತು ಸಿ ಎಬ್ ಬಂಧುವ ಗಂಡೋಣಿ ನಂಗ್ ಮಹಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಹಾರಿ ಲಂಕಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಹಾರಿ ಆಯತನೆ ಎಕ್ಕಟ ಹಾರಸಿ ಎಕ್ಕಟ ಹತರಕ್ ವೆಡಿಯ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾಲ ನಿಗುತ್ ಕರಂಡ ಕೀರ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಸಿ ಎಟ ಹಾರಸಿ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾಲ ನಿಗುತ್ ಕಣ್ಣ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಮಹಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಹಾರಿ ಲಂಕಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಹಾರಿ ಮಹಾಜರಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಹಾರಿ ಎ ಹಾರಸಿ ಎಂಬ ಸಮ್ಮುಖ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಕೆಂದವಲ್ಲ ಮೇ ಆಯ ಸಮ್ಮುಖ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ನಿಧಿ ಲಕುನು ದಿಲ್ಲ ಎ ಲಕುನು ಟಿಕ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪಾರತ ಮೇಂತು ಯಾವಂಡೋಣಿ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪಾರತ ಮೇಂತು ಸಮ್ಮುಖ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ಲಕುನು ಸಹ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಪಾರತ ಮೇಂತು ವಿಭಾಗ ಲಕುನು ಎಕ್ಕತು ಕಲ್ಲ ವೆಡಿ ಲಕುನು ತಿಳಿ ವೇಳೆಟ ನವತ ಕೋಡ ಕಲ್ಲ ಇವನ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಮಹಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕೋಟ ಹಾರಿ ಲಂಕಾ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕೋಟ ಹಾರಿ ಮಿತುಮ ವೈಕಿ ಆಯ್ತನ ಹೊರಟ ಥಮಂಟೋನಿಯಾಯ್ ಮೇಕಟ ಅತುಲತ್ ಕರಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಹಾರಿ ಪ್ರವೀಣ ತಾವೇ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯವ ಈಗ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ಭಾವೆ ವಿಭಾಗ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಾ ಕರಣ ಅತರ ತುರೇದಿ ಸಮ್ಮುಖ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ನೇದಿ ತುರುಗುಣಾಂಗ ಮೆತುಮಲಾವಿಸಿ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಾ ಕಲ್ಲ ತೋರಾಗತ್ತು ನಿಯಮ ವಿನಿವಿಧ ಪೇನ ಕ್ರಮಿಕಟತಮ ಇನ್ನಿ ಹಬೈ ಮೆತೆಂದಿ ಮೇ ಆಯ್ರ ಓನಿಲಾತಿ ಕಾರಣ ಏಕ ನಿಮಿ ಮೆತೆಂದಿ ಓನಿಲಾತಿ ವಿಭಾಗ ಪಾಸ್ ಎನಾಯ ಪ್ರಾಯೋಗಿಕವ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕೋಟ ಸುದು ಸುದ ಕೀನ ಕಾರಣವ ಪಿಲಿಪದ ಪ್ರಸತಿಯನ್ನು ನಿಸ ಮುಳುವ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಿ ಎಟ ಸಿ ಆತ್ಮ ತೋರಾಗ ನಿಮಿ ಅವಶ್ಯತಾವೇ ತಮನ್ಮತ ಪವರಾಗಂಡ ತಮ್ಮ ಮೇ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಆಯತನೆ ಹರ ಈ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒತ್ತಲ ತೀ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ನಾಮಕರ್ಣಾಯಿಗ ವಿತರಾಯಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾಲನೆ ನಿಗುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ತೀಯನ್ನೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ನಾಮಕರ್ಣಾಯಿ ವಿತರಾಯಿ ಸಮ್ಮುಖ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆ ನಡೆ ಕೆಂದೊಳ್ಳ ತೀಯನ್ನೆ ಎ ಐ ವಿತರಾಯಿ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಬಂಧುವಾಗ ನಿಬಿಡಲ ಎತ್ತೊಟ ಮೇ ಸಮಾಜ ಇಸ್ತರೇಟ ಸಿದ್ಧವೆನ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣೆ ಕೊಚ್ಚರತ್ತೆ ಮೇ ಅಪಿ ಮೇ ರಟೆ ಯೌವನೇಟ ಅಪೇ ಅನಾಗತ ಪರಪುರಟ ಮೇ ಬುದ್ಧಿಮತ್ ಕಂಡಾಯ ದಿನ ಪಣಿ ವಿಡಿಯ ಮುಖಾತ್ ಮಾಲ <laughs> 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 ಒಬ್ಬ ತುಮಾಲಾಗೆ ಅಧೀಕ್ಷಣೆ ಇಡದೀನ ಆಯತನೆ ಆಗ್ತಮಾಯ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕರೊಂಗೆ ಆಯತನೆ ಕೆ ಅದ್ರ ಒಬ್ಬ ತುಮಾಲಾಟ ಓಣ ವಿಧಿ ಕಡೆ ಏಕಟ ಬಲಪಾಯಂ ಕಾರಣ
ගන්න ආයතනයට වැඩිපුර අවස්ථාව තියෙනවා Taman Tonaya තෝරා ගැනීමට. මොකද සිය සියකා 150ක් ගන්නේ විභාගයට ලකුණු 70ක් දෙන්නේ. විභාගයට දෙන ලකුණු 70යි 30 ඉන්ටර්වියු එකට. ඒතරේ ලකුණු 70ක් දෙනකොට සියක් ගන්න ඕන 150ක් ඉන්ටර්වියු කරාම ඒ ඒ 30 ඇතුළත ගන්න පුළුවන් උපරිම අය ඒක ඇතුළත එනවා. අපි 400ක් ගත්තොත් 400 කොණ ඉන්න එක නැත ඕනනම් මෙතන අරගෙන උඩට දාගන්න පුළුවන්. ඒතකොට මේක ඊට වඩා තරංගකාරී ඊට වඩා වැදගත් හැබැයි ලකුණු හැමෝම විභාග ගුණන්ට පස්සේ ඒ ආයතනයේ හැමෝටම ලකුණු දෙනවා විභාග දෙපාර්තමේන්තුවේ ඉන්ටර්වියු කරනකොට ලිස්ට් එක වෙන මිසක් ලකුණු වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒක වෙන ඒ ක්‍රමවේදයයි එකම ක්‍රමවේදය මේ ක්‍රමවේදය තුල අර දාසි දාසි ගම්තුවා කරපු තර්කය ගෙන්න පුළුවන් අපි මේක මේක මහ බැංකුවේ පාලන මණ්ඩලයට තියෙන කියන එක එකම පිළිගන්න අපි ඒක ඉන්ෂුර් කරලා තමයි මේක එහෙම එකක් නොවෙනා කියන ගැරන්ටි කරනවා තමයි ඒක කරලා තියෙන්නේ. ඒක අපි පිළිගන්න වකීම් බාර ගන්න යම් කිසි දෙයක් තියෙනවා නම් ඕනම වෙලාවක ඒ චෝදනා හොයන්න. හැබැයි කරන ක්‍රමවේදය ඒ කියපු වඩා සාධාරණ හොඳ ක්‍රමවේදයක් තමයි මේක කරලා කියන්නේ.